Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland here in sunny Miami, Florida for Metro Connect USA 2022. Joining me today, we have T5 data centers. We've got Craig McKesson. He is the Chief Customer and Marketing Officer. Craig. And we have Peter Allman, the CFO for T5 Data Centers. Welcome, both of you. Thank you very much. Good to be here. Well, Peter, let's start with you. If you could tell our viewers a little bit about T5 Data Centers and what you do. Yeah, we're a full lifecycle data center provider where we will provide development services. We will also do the construction on it, and we'll, we will provide facilities management once the facility is up and running. So really providing everything that a... Uh, company could need for data center, op, for data center really soup to nuts here is what we like to do. And I think we, our view is we really do it best in breed. We focus on the quality, the sustainability, and really what the customer wants, to, wants us to do for them. We're very flexible and do whatever they want. Wonderful. Now, Craig, I understand that you've reached a major milestone recently. Can you tell us more about that? We did. As, um, as Peter mentioned, one of the, our, our key differentiators in the marketplace is our facility management and operations group. And um, our tagline is forever on, but we've actually expanded that to forever safe, forever on. And as part of our uh, facility management group, we've actually just reached over 2 million work hours without a lost time incident across our uh, portfolio of data centers. So on the FM side, we actually not only operate data centers on behalf of T5, but also enterprises all over the United States. We're currently operating about 55 different data centers around the U.S. and uh, about a little over 500 megawatts of, of power under management. Well, congratulations as well on that milestone. That's wonderful. Thank you. So let's talk about um, we're T5 data centers for data center and security and, and you know, full lifecycle solutions within the data center. Tell us more about the data facilities management practice, if you could. Yes, as I, as I mentioned, um, it actually, the root of our facility management practice actually started with our customers asking uh, for us to come into their facilities and take our processes, procedures, training, um, all of those things that really keep their uh, facility up and running uh, 24-7, 365. Uh, we saw an opportunity there to branch out and, and really um, grow that platform into what we believe is the, the leading FM services platform in the industry. Lots of momentum coming from T5 data centers. Uh, Peter, could you tell us what's, what else you have planned for 2022 and beyond? Yeah, we've got a bunch of projects in, in different stages, um, really focusing across the whole market, as I mentioned before, whether it's enterprise, hyperscale, or or government and federal requirements. Uh, we've got a couple data centers which will be ready, ready to roll in Silicon Valley, Chicago, and Portland. And then a new project we've got in Augusta, Georgia, looking really for hyperscale fed requirements uh, next to the Army base there. And I think we're really excited about the opportunities there that we can work with the customer, find the right solution, and build that solution for, for them and run it going forward. So really everything across the country, we've got opportunities across the board this year, and we're excited about what we're doing. And we'll be watching. So, Craig, where can our viewers go to learn more about T5? Well, we're very active on our social media uh, platforms, obviously on LinkedIn. So you can visit our, our uh, company page on LinkedIn or uh, at uh, our website, www.t5datacenters.com. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Peter, for joining us. Thanks for having thank us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcast. Happy networking.